Hello, I'm Reverend Karen Davis of First Christian Church. We think about many of the strikes that have been in the news lately where employees are trying to make sure that they get a fair wage. Just this last week, we heard of all of the big automakers where their employees walked out of the factories. It is important that we get compensated fairly for the work that we do. Dolly Parton and Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda made the 9 to 5 a very popular song and theme as we think about that movie and how they were striving to earn a day's wages and had to put up with all kinds of challenges. Well, the good news for us as Christians, as laborers in God's kingdom, we can be assured that we will be treated fairly. In fact, God will go overboard in making sure that all God's people are compensated fairly for the labors of our work. This week, as we're reflecting on Matthew's Gospel, chapter 20, verses 1 through 16, we read the parable of the vineyard workers. And there the logic gets turned upside down that even those who come to work later in the day get compensated the same as those who've worked all day. For some, they can't understand how someone who worked two hours is getting paid as much as the person who worked eight hours. But the good news for us is that God wants to make sure that we all get a day's wages in terms of the kingdom of God that we all are compensated with God's love and grace and goodness, that it doesn't matter if we showed up late to the party, that we still get to enjoy the benefits of God's love and God's mercy. So that is the good news for us, that when we take on the job of being a laborer in God's kingdom, we know that we will be treated fairly, that we will be compensated with all that God has to give us. And that is good news. So I invite you this day to turn in your resume to be a laborer for God's kingdom, to be part of doing God's work in the world, of sharing the good news and building up the kingdom of God on earth, because we know that God, as the one who will compensate us, will be more than fair. May we rejoice in all that God has granted to us in love and grace and joy and peace. And may we continue to do our best work for God this day and every day.